All right, welcome. In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of enqueuing JavaScript, but we're going to switch from looking at themes to plugins. So the first thing we want to look at is how can we, with a plugin, enqueue JavaScript on the front end of our theme, just like we did before. <clears throat> so there are instances where maybe a plugin is doing something and you want some JavaScript to be applied to the front end, maybe for stuff you're building or Maybe it's already enhancing what's already there. Either way, this is quite common that you want JavaScript on the front end. What also happens with the plugin is that you want JavaScript on the admin area. And there is a hook that we'll look at that will let us put our JavaScript everywhere in the admin area. We could also get really specific, which is a little bit more common, and we could have our JavaScript show up just on specific pages. So there's a format for going about this, and particularly where this is going to be helpful is if you're building your own settings page in WordPress, that you would want this to show up um, just on your settings page. So let's go ahead and look at some of the stuff we need to know for this. First of all, we use the same WP and Q script as before, except now you'll notice that the path to the URL of where our plugin is going to be is different. So before we were in our WP contents themes and then theme folder. Now we're in our plugins folder and the specific plugin, and there's just a slightly different format to get that. It's plugins URL path, comma, underscore, underscore, file. And there are some different ways to go about this that you might see, but this is the most basic one. So first thing is we use the plugins URL. That's a little bit different. The other thing that we have different is we have WP and Q scripts, so that's going to work just as before and put it on the front end of the site. And everything we learned about themes also applies to plugins. We also have admin in queue scripts, and that's going to load everything on the admin area of our site. Now, this could be good if we want generic JavaScript to go everywhere, but it's also probably problematic in that we probably don't want our JavaScript to go everywhere in the admin. We want it somewhere specific. So when we set up pages in WordPress, this is code that's beyond the scope of our course here, but this is how you set up your own admin page in WordPress. And notice that we have main menu URL separated. So we have the main menu URL that we set up. We pull that into our function and we use that to set up the URL for our function. So let me show you real quick in a theme. If we, you know, we come to our dashboard, we have a special themes page right here or plugin page, plugin settings. And notice this slug here right there. Page equals js for wp 2 3 dot um, dash completed. This is going to be our URL slug. So what we could do is use that to conditionally load our JavaScript and we'll take a look at that now. Okay, this might look a little confusing, but notice how we have if hook is not equal to a little pseudocode here, top level underscore page underscore my dash. That dash the rest of that is what we're going to replace with our admin page. So in our previous example, it was js for wp 2 3 completed In this one, it just says admin page. And we could run it like this, and we say, if it's not equal to this page, then return or escape out. Otherwise, it's going to load our script. This is probably more likely what it's going to look like. We have main menu URL outside of our enqueuing function because we're going to use it in two places. We'll use it when we're enqueuing our JavaScript, but we'll also use it when we're building our custom page for WordPress itself. So we pull it out, we use the global to get it into the function, then we run the exact same stuff. But this top level underscore page is the same for no matter what page. It's just this little string of text you need to put in before the page URL for WordPress to work, uh, recognize it. So we'll pull that out and concatenate it just onto the main URL. This is going to be a lot cleaner and you'll have a chance to play with this. But basically what this is going to do is only load your JavaScript on certain admin pages. And you could do or statements, uh, stack the conditionals up, uh, depending on what you have going on here. But this is going to be something really helpful. Okay, so we're going to do a little practice. We're going to enqueue JavaScript on the front end of a theme from a plugin. We're going to enqueue JavaScript in the admin area on the whole thing. And then we're going to enqueue JavaScript in the admin area on just our plugin page. So in the next uh, video, I'll show you how to set all of this up. And then we'll go through the practice exercises to make sure we're comfortable with all of this.